starts number one hydrogen fuel cells hydrogen fuel cells use hydrogen as a fuel in an electrochemical process that combines hydrogen and oxygen to produce electrical energy and water the reverse process of electrolysis which produces green hydrogen and oxygen from water can use a range of renewable energy resources wind wave solar to produce hydrogen as a fuel for renewable power generation. There is also growing interest in hydrogen power as a uniquely clean energy source that can produce heat and whose only byproducts are water. Green hydrogen produced from electrolysis, a high energy process, and renewable energy sources is a high cost option, which only accounts for around 5% of total H2 production. Number 3. Metaverse work in the metaverse how the metaverse is shaping the future of work the metaverse was always intended to be more than just a virtual reality application amid all the uncertainty about virtual reality one thing's for certain the metaverse in here to stay here's how
exoskeleton. Interaction of exoskeleton with the user involves three main modules, sense, decision, and execution, Napin et al., 2014. Developing robotic exoskeletons relates to including technologies to accomplish function of each module. Number 8. Blockchain Technology Blockchain, sometimes referred to as Distributed Ledger Technology, DLT, makes the history of any digital asset unalterable and transparent through the use of decentralization and cryptographic hashing. A simple analogy for how blockchain technology operates can be compared to how a Google Docs document works. When you create a Google Doc and share it with a group of people, the document is simply distributed instead of copied or transferred. This creates a decentralized distribution chain that gives everyone access to the base document at the same time. No one is locked out awaiting changes from another party, while all modifications to the document are being recorded in real time, making changes completely transparent. A significant gap to note, however, is that unlike Google Docs, original content and data on the blockchain cannot be modified once written, adding to its level of security. Number 9. What is a lithium-ion battery and how does it work? A lithium-ion Li-ion, battery is an advanced battery technology that uses lithium ions as a key component of its electrochemistry. During a discharge cycle, lithium atoms in the anode are ionized and separated from their electrons. The lithium ions move from the anode and pass through the electrolyte until they reach the cathode, where they recombine with their electrons and electrically neutralize. The lithium ions are small enough to be able to move through a micropermeable separator between the anode and cathode. In part because of lithium's small size, third only to hydrogen and helium, Li-ion batteries are capable of having a very high voltage and charge storage per unit mass and unit volume. Li-ion batteries can use a number of different materials as electrodes. The most common combination is that of lithium cobalt oxide, cathode, and graphite, anode, which is most commonly found in portable electronic devices such as cell phones and laptops. Number 10. Sonic Fire Extinguisher Two engineering students invent a sonic fire extinguisher. Two engineering students invented a new generation fire extinguisher that puts out flames by only playing heavy bass. And now, we don't have to rely on water or chemicals anymore. It might sound like an amazing party toy, but this sonic fire extinguisher actually can put out a fire with sound waves spread through a mobile subwoofer gun. The tech was so genius that the project soon went viral the and duo started appearing on local TV and in other media. Killin' De Fire Based on the idea of quenching fires with heavy bass sound, Two engineering students from George Mason University in Virginia developed an unusual fire extinguisher. When compared to the chemical compound of classic fire extinguishers, their invention offers the cleanest way to put out flames. Number 11. Floating Farms Will cities of the future have floating farms? In the Netherlands, an experimental floating dairy farm promises to reduce emissions and increase food security. A prototype floating dairy farm in Rotterdam, Netherlands is home to 35 dairy cows. In the future, similar platforms will be set up nearby to grow vegetables and farm eggs. Floating Farm A resume for the Netherlands would list water management and the development of advanced agricultural technology among its top skills. The country is one of the smallest in the European Union and has more people living below sea level than any other country in the world. Yet, it is among the world's largest exporters of food by value. It makes perfect sense, then, that the world's first experimental floating dairy farm, the culmination of a seven-year, US dollar 2.9 million effort, is sited in the industrial and warehousing area of Rotterdam's active Merwe Haven Harbor. Late last month, handlers anxiously introduced 35 Muse Ryan Issel cows, a breed native to the Netherlands, to the two-story floating platform. Worries that the cows would get seasick or be reluctant to cross the bridge onto the platform proved unfounded, and the animals have adjusted to the change of scenery and are producing milk on their new floating home. 
Number 12. Edge Computing. Edge computing is a distributed computing paradigm that brings computation and data storage closer to the sources of data. This is expected to improve response times and save bandwidth. 1. It is an architecture rather than a specific technology. 2. It is a topology and location-sensitive form of distributed computing. The world's data is expected to grow 61% to 175 zettabytes by 2025. 13. According to research firm Gartner, around 10% of enterprise-generated data is created and processed outside a traditional centralized data center or cloud. By 2025, the firm predicts that this figure will reach 75%. 14. The increase of IoT devices at the edge of the network is producing a massive amount of data storing and using all that data in cloud data centers pushes network bandwidth requirements to the limit. 15. Despite the improvements of network technology, data centers cannot guarantee acceptable transfer rates and response times, which, however, often is a critical requirement for many applications. 16. Furthermore, devices at the edge constantly consume data coming from the cloud, forcing companies to decentralize data storage and service provisioning, leveraging physical proximity to the end user. Number 13. Albal Fuel Albal Biofuel is an alternative to fossil fuel, which is generated by specific algae species from carbon dioxide. These algae species are primarily unicellular or diatom microalgae that produce high carbohydrate compositions suitable for ethanol production, high lipid compositions suitable for biodiesel production, or high hydrocarbon compositions that are suitable for producing renewable distillates. Increase in fuel costs and consumption and depletion of natural fuel resources have created a demand for research into alternative forms of fuels in the last decade. Several companies and government agencies are funding research to try and make algae fuel production commercially viable. The optimum selection of the algal species for biofuel production is based on the ability to sustain the culture, growth rate of the species, the biomass specific contents of proteins, carbohydrates, and lipids, and the overall supporting photosynthesis environment. Number 14. Technology and mirror to go hand in hand to offer smart features. The invention of smart technologies and smart devices is gaining more and more popularity especially among youth across the globe. Among these, Smart Mirror is a device that is grabbing the attention of many people who might be interested in buying one for their own home in the future. The rising technological advancement in machine learning, augmented reality, AR, and LED lighting systems has undoubtedly led to the digitalization of our physical world. Nowadays, every device seems to have a smart version of it. The advent of smart technology has blessed us with smart watches, smart TVs, smart fridges, smart speakers, and even smart lights. In reality, it was the invention of System on Chip (SOC) which gave rise to the concept of developing smart devices. And today, not just the device's technology has shown its miracles in the world of mirrors as well. Within this decade, the mirror industry will begin taking shape and smart mirrors will start gaining popularity all over the world. Number 15. Air Taxi. Flying cars take off. How air taxis are about to revolutionize how we travel. Just a few years ago, it felt like flying cars were still a distant sci-fi future. But investment has increased rapidly, and a number of companies are now building air taxis to make our city journeys faster, easier, and cleaner. It's hard to decide whether flying taxis are arriving very late or extremely early. On the one hand, the promise of airborne cabs zipping between skyscrapers has been a science fiction staple for decades. On the other, it wasn't long ago that air taxis were filed in the wheel see folder of future technology alongside hoverboards and hotels on the moon. But after years of wishful thinking, it's suddenly happening. Investment in advanced aerial mobility, as the sector is known, has more than tripled in the last year, and analysts at Morgan Stanley expect the global air taxi market to be worth pound 2.7 TR by 2050. Early or late, 
the future is en route and will be coming into land sooner than the majority of people realize. A number of companies around the world are currently preparing EVTOL vehicles, electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, which could revolutionize the way we get around big cities. Number 16. Injectable Brain Robots This startup wants to send tiny injectable robots into human brains to fight cancer. Sending miniature robots deep inside the human skull to treat brain disorders has long been the stuff of science fiction, but it could soon become reality if a California startup is to be believed. Bionod Labs is planning to launch its first clinical trials in humans using the tiny injectable robots in just two years. The idea of the micro-robot came about way before I was born, said co-founder and CEO Michael Spiegelmacher. One of the most famous examples is a book by Isaac Asimov and a film called Fantastic Voyage, where a crew of scientists goes inside a miniaturized spaceship into the brain to treat a blood clot. 